Hi guys. I am on an evening, well it's not evening but it's like it's 4.30 in the afternoon but the sun has already gone down. I am on a walk in our nearby woods and I just wanted to share this with you guys and um, I hope uh, I hope that we don't meet anyone because it's kind of awkward recording a video and talking to myself um, I'm not alone on the walk um, my hubby is here with me as well uh, he just went on um, I wanted to share this little thing with you I just found this cute uh, fungus mushroom it was growing on a tree and um, uh, every time I take something, I tend to give something back. Um, and if I don't have anything on me, like today, um, I will usually bring something the next time. So, and... Yeah, and also, before I take anything, I usually, let me just put this down because I don't have two hands like this. Um, I always ask for permission, and how I do that is with, very simple, with a pendulum. So I ask the spirit of, of the place, of the plant, of the land, of the tree, or whatever I feel is appropriate at that time to communicate with me and I can usually tell by the energy itself but this way it's easier to make sure so I just ask if I have permission to take this item leaf, herb, plant whatever it may be, stone, rock uh, and if I have the permission, I take it and I give something back. And if I don't have anything, I always give my word to bring something as an offering the next time I'm there. And, uh, or give an offering at home. That's also a thing that I do. I don't necessarily feel in every case that I need to be here to give my offering. Um, <clears throat> but I always bring it. And if I don't have the permission, I just won't take it. Because I don't believe that's right. And that's that. Um, what else? Um, oh yeah. And there's various things that you could give as offerings. Um, it's... Well, it really depends on what kind of entity or spirit or energy you're communing with um, and um, I usually give like water, bread, grains, herbs, even crystals sometimes, um, various objects. Um, I don't really use my blood as an offering for nature spirits sometimes very very rarely I feel it's required but more often than not I I don't feel that's appropriate for this kind of thing um fuck I know that I wanted to say something more but I forget all the time what I want to say um Yeah, so just be respectful of the land. Don't just take, take, take and give nothing back. Oh yeah, and every time I visit woods or any... Oh, gross. Any nature space, I always give my blessings. I always bless the lands. I always 
send out protection words um, healing and stuff of that sort it doesn't take anything any items doesn't take anything else but my energy and just these magical hands and sometimes it's enough if you just put your hand on the tree just ground yourself concentrate and just do your thing it's that simple everyday witching you know you don't need any tools any fancy shiny things to do it just your heart your intention your energy that's that so yeah I hope you're doing well and thanks for watching subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos I'm thinking of making like everyday witch or every everyday witchcraft type videos or series even where I share li little things that you can do to maintain your practice since that is one of the goals in my spiritual part of depth here I want to have daily practices and I don't want them to be too complicated because then I don't do them and there's a lot of things like this that you can do without any special planning or tools and whatnot. So that's that guys. Many blessings.